first alert weather on NBC 10 Boston, Boston's most accurate forecast. All right, everyone, let's switch gears and head outside and get a little dose. Yes. Well, I guess it was not really much sunshine out there. A little dose of sunshine, I was going to say. Metaphorically speaking, with Danielle Noyes, everyone, there we go. Oh, she's our sunshine this morning. Yep. That's the best I got, Danielle. There was a little <laughs> glimpse, you're right about it, earlier today. And now the clouds have filled in, you guys. The temperature, hey, it's fall now. Feeling a little bit fallish out there. 62 degrees in Boston. Many of us in the lower 60s, mid 60s in Norwood, low to mid 60s on Cape Cod for us as well, where the wind is still gusting 20 to 30 miles per hour. It's come down a notch after the stronger wind gusts this weekend and the 6 to 11 inches of rain that Cape Cod portions of the mid and outer Cape received. Sprinkle, a couple of the clouds look a little bit ominous out there, and there may be a sprinkle or two between now and the end of the day. We have clouds coming in from the west, too, out ahead of showers that are coming into central New York now and down through Pennsylvania. A lot of the leading edge is drying up, but a couple of these may sneak into far western New England. I think it's generally a sprinkle today, but many of us are dry, just mainly cloudy through the rest of the afternoon. Now, during the day tomorrow, I do think we start with a glimpse of sunshine again, and then watch what happens. The clouds fill back in, and similar to today, there may be a stray shower or a sprinkle that comes in off the ocean, not a washout by any means. Wednesday, mostly cloudy too, maybe a break or two of sun, an isolated shower, but the steadier rain holds off until Wednesday night, generally around midnight that it will come in and last into early Thursday morning. So if you're an early morning commuter Thursday, it will be a wet start. There'll be some pockets of rain that linger during the morning commute on Thursday. Then there'll be scattered showers around during the afternoon. So again, it's not a steady uh, you know, solid rain the entire day, but it's the wettest period this week, Wednesday night into Thursday. By Friday, we kick it offshore. Sun's back. Beautiful start to the day, although there's still some upper-level energy, so look what happens. We build some clouds in later on Friday, and there may be a shower or two. We'll keep you posted on the timing of that. Again, it would be a brief window that that comes in. And I know it's only a Monday, but we're going to take you out through the weekend. Look at this. Saturday, sunshine. Sunday, Sunshine. It looks dry both days right now. There should still be more of a northerly wind, so it'll keep us a little bit on the cooler side, but pretty seasonable for the last full weekend of September. Highs today, we've kind of already reached them in spots. We may fluctuate by a degree or two here over the coming hours, so low to mid 60s. Tonight, dropping into the mid 50s for downtown, but notice some of the suburbs dip into the upper 40s, mainly cloudy. I can't rule out a stray sprinkle. Bus stop forecast tomorrow, so, you know, after a really warm start in middle part of September, now the kiddos can get out the fall outfits that they may have picked out for the beginning of school. They can wear the long sleeve of the sweatshirt. Cool start, breaks of sun, but mainly cloudy with temperatures running in the mid-60s as you head into the bus ride home tomorrow. And that's the case in a lot of spots. Sure, break or two of sun that does come out during the afternoon, but overall the clouds went out, and that's the case on Wednesday too. Highs topping out in the mid to upper 60s. Meanwhile, I want to update you on the tropics, potential tropical cyclone 9, 40 mile per hour gusts. This is sitting off of uh, Honduras right now, and we'll sh continue to show signs of organization and kind of split the western tip of Cuba and the Yucatan Peninsula, but strengthen. So by the time we get to Wednesday evening, look at that. Category 2 hurricane coming into the Gulf of Mexico, taking aim at Florida, Big Bend region. Obviously, there's still this cone of uncertainty and probability this many days out. But, you know, the Gulf waters are just so warm. There's not a lot of wind shear to rip this storm apart. So I would not be surprised if this storm, which will become named Helene, becomes a Category 3 major hurricane before landfall. Again, the time frame of that would be sometime Thursday, maybe evening, and then by Friday and Saturday, it's just a leftover low pressure. But will continue to move over the southeastern United States with some pockets of rain that will kind of linger. For us, here's our 10-day, and it's not a bad-looking one. Still a lot of clouds the next few days, temperatures in the mid-60s, rain Thursday, tapers to showers, and then look at that, Colton and Melody, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, I don't want to jinx it, but up and around 70 with sunshine, it's looking good. Good-looking weekend ahead, yeah. Danielle. Thanks yeah. so much.